Welcome to Computer Tech TV. This is a follow-up video to the Thermalrite Silver Arrow unboxing video. In this video I'd like to show you guys a quick um, uh, overview of the parts basically. Just go in a little more in depth into what you guys can get in this um, box here. Basically as shown before, you have your packing list, your AMD and Intel installation guides, Thermalrite case badge, eight fan isolator pads, your pressure valve adjustment wrench and two gram tube of chill factor three thermal paste under your mounts this is the mounting system for the intel 775 1156 and 1366 sockets this is actually the only sockets that come with the pressure valve adjustment and then down here you can see we have the am2 and am3 mounts which is pretty much just what you see here. It uses springs to hold tension onto the top plate through into the back plate. And um, as I said a second ago, if you want to use this pressure adjustment valve to add extra pressure, uh, once this is installed here, then you're going to have to have an Intel system to go with that. And the wrench is what you use to tighten this down here. And to actually mount the heat sink, this is your top plate, this is your back plate. This is your top plate, and then your heat sink would mount here, and then you'd mount this on top of the heat sink, and then you'd secure these two screws here, and then you can tighten this up to add 40 to 70 pounds of additional force. And as you can see, the AMD installation, while lacking the pressure valve, still is much simpler and will do just as good of a job as the Intel, which will take quite a bit longer to put together. And then we have the heat sink itself right here. It's a twin tower design, all nickel plated, nice copper base. It is very flat. And it's got two TY140 900 to 1300 RPM PWM fans. I've currently have them mounted with the four included 140 millimeter, uh, or actually I should say 120 millimeter. Uh, because these fans feature 120 millimeter fan holes so these are 120 millimeter fan clips and basically this features 8 millimeter heat pipes there's four of them as you can see they pass through that solid copper base here's the fin array should have no problem getting the air through this heat sink especially with these dual 140 millimeter fans. These fans push about 75 CFM of air and they are near silent. And they both feature very nice sleeving and PWM leads so they both can be controlled through your motherboard or through other software. And that about concludes it for the Thermalrite Silver Arrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you're looking for a heatsink that can pretty much conquer any CPU, stock or overclocked, I suggest checking this out. And if you guys haven't checked out my other videos, please check out my channel and subscribe if you guys want the latest video updates. I'd like to thank Thermalrite for providing this product, and you guys all have a great day. More videos to come.